Okay, so do you, do you see what's happening out here on the pond, on the lake? <laughs> this changes everything. Everything's different now. It's all different now. <clears throat> hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeffo. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. I don't know nothing, folks. I'm just a dude on a bicycle trying to evolve as a filmmaker, as a poet, writer, and as a human being. Happy Monday. It is good to have you out on the ride this morning. <laughs> if you're watching the video, obviously you could uh, see the steam coming off the pond. It is a cold, cold morning. Well, okay, so obviously not as cold as we've ridden before. Thank goodness, because that was too cold. It was pretty cold this morning, about 37 degrees. So everything's kind of changed. I've been curious about how, uh, how we're gonna continue to do the podcast. Look at that guy. Hey, beautiful thing. I don't know what that was. That was huge for a cormorant. Maybe it was. This changes everything because I've got the gloves on and so it's harder to get to the phone. Hey, good morning. It's harder to get to the phone for my notes. Um, so I'm gonna have to start taping the notes to the handlebars again, I guess. So bear with me. Man, I have a poem for you. We cannot know his legendary head. Because the head was removed. Uh, see, I don't remember the rest of the poem. Sorry, <laughs> this, I need my notes. Anyway, folks, I'm thinking about the archaic torso of Apollo. The poem by Rilke. And uh, basically, he's talking about his experience he had. Today we're talking about transitions. It's cold, I'm not thinking correctly yet. But man, it's a beautiful morning. But in the poem, it basically, Rilke describes his experience with seeing the uh, statue of Apollo and how the gleaming white marble is like, like radiant fur, and how the light shines from somewhere deep inside the, the stone to, uh, that illuminates the whole statue, basically. And then he says at the very end of the poem, you must change your life, which is kind of fascinating. Hey, good morning. When you think about transitions and things that inspired you and things that forced you to change, which is the correlation I'm trying to make here. Boy, we got that cold weather heavy breathing already going on. Who would have thought? It's not even October yet. Whew. We're also back on the uh, Pukui commuter. One of the things I realized is we happen to be cruising through a sporting goods store for some reason this uh, weekend. And of course I had to pick up some dumbbells, you know, being all masculine and all. <laughs> and I realized that my backpack that I carry every day, I carry about 15 to 20 pounds of gear on my back with the camera gear and like the bike kit and repair kit and clothes and lunch and all that. I think that explains why when I ride the Hukui Ku, which is a more laid down kind of a, a ride, leaning forward a lot more than like upright on the cruiser on the Little Red Bastard or something. But I think that's why I've been dealing with back pain. And I haven't ridden the Hukui Ku in a week so today is a test. I'm using the panniers that, whoop, that I love, the uh, thylacine threadworks panniers. This will be like my first full winter with those, so I'm anxious to see how they, how they wear and how I like them uh, in the rainy season. 
They are, at this point, my favorite pen ears ever. Thylacine Threadworks, T-H-Y-L-A-C-I-N-E Threadworks. Hey, good morning. If you are looking for a gift for a bicycle commuter that you know, and they are looking for pen ears, I highly, highly recommend these. All right, commercial over. That's not a real commercial. Charles doesn't know that I'm talking about his pen ears on this podcast. Well, I mean, he might. I think, I think they stumble across it every once in a while. By the way, speaking of Charles and his person, she's an artist, going to be featured on first Thursday here in Boise on Thursday night at Maven downtown on Main at 10th in the bottom of the Eidenhaw building. So if you're looking for an art experience, I highly recommend going and checking out Teal's work. I've only seen it online, so I'm really excited. We miss her opening out at the Gym Center for the Arts. Woo! Yeah, I know, just a little ride. With the pen ears, it's not a good idea to be riding the wall. Just like I wouldn't ride the skate park with pen ears. Anyway, if you're looking for an art experience, first Thursday, downtown Boise, go check out Teal's work at Maven. I'm really excited to see it in person. She uses a lot of uh, organic or biologic, biology, biology, biologic, I don't know, elements and concepts in her work, which is really cool. I love that. Going back to reinterpreting or interpreting, reinterpreting nature, our perception of nature through art. Hell, I don't know nothing about visual art, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. No, so the opening really was about transitions and about how I knew it was gonna be 37 degrees today. So I started hunting for my gloves and earmuffs. I use these little, uh, I think they're called 180s. There's a kangaroo on them. I don't know what brand they are, but they fit under my regular helmet, which is nice. Keep my ears covered so I don't freeze. That's one of the things about biking in the colder weather. But as kind of my, my basic rule is uh, limit exposure to skin. So like I've gone on a long sleeve, just, uh, oh, whatever, polyethylene. <laughs> I know, that's not what it is. Basically, it's a Patagonia base layer under a uh, uh, windproof jacket that has no insulation. That keeps the wind off me. And uh, as I ride, I build up a little bit of heat. We haven't talked about biking in a while, so I figured I'd talk about that because, as we said, everything changed this morning. <laughs> hey, good morning. So you got to start off cold. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. We're talking about other transitions, right? The reason I got on to the uh, Roka poem was I was reading Ocean Vuong this morning, his book of poems called Something Exit Wounds, for crying out loud, Jeffrey. I can't remember it. Oh, well. It's Exit Wounds, Ocean Vuong, V-U-O-N-G, and he has a poem in there that the title is Torso in Air. And he's kind of, uh, not remixing, but he's definitely bringing that image of that first art experience or of a powerful art experience into this poem that he writes, which I think is about a lover. I've only kind of read through these poems once briefly, and it's kind of how I like to read books of poems. You know, I cruise through and kind of read them all as kind of not as quickly, but kind of read through it all at one sitting as much as I possibly can to get an overall sensibility. Because, you know, poetry is a specific kind of language. It's not English, it's poetry. 
right? I mean, for English speakers, it's, yeah, okay, you're, you're up with me, thank you, okay. I appreciate you being on the ride this morning, keeping me straight and level. <laughs> That's always important on a bike, being level. Except for when you're on a wall. Then it's important not to be level. Yeah, I know, okay. No, I really do appreciate you being on the ride with me this morning. If you've been waiting to contact me on Twitter or Instagram or email, say, hey, I want to be on the podcast. I want to talk about my ride, whatever your ride is, obviously. It doesn't have to be a bicycle, it doesn't have to be filmmaking, but whatever your ride is, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, you can uh, hit us up on Twitter or Instagram at um, Morning Ride Pod, or just look up Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. Or email jeffo at morningridepodcast.com. I'd love to hear about your ride and see what you're up to. See what inspires you. See how you uh, get out of bed and do your thing every day. That would be cool. Of course, if you don't like riding in the cold, maybe let's schedule something next spring. <laughs> I don't know if this uh, is going to be one of those like little dips into the autumn here in Idaho, that can happen. It could get warm again. Which I wouldn't totally mind. At 37, you know, you got to remember to bring a jacket so that when you get to the office and change clothes, and you've got something to keep you warm when you're uh, wandering around campus with a camera or something. The other transition that I have in the fall that I really love is this artistic transition. It's like all the, uh, the book list changes, the books that I want to read changes, the, uh, the music list, the music that we listen to changes dramatically. For some reason I always get back into a lot of Tom Waits in the fall. I don't know what the theme was this summer. Jennifer made a playlist last last fall, I guess. And uh, it was, it's kind of been the thing that we've been listening to over and over. Hey, on your left here. No, you couldn't. It's kind of the thing we've been listening to. This is playlist and it's got all kinds of great stuff summer, spring, fall. It's kind of an all-season list. But yeah, I get back into, I was listening to some Philip Glass songs from Liquid Days this morning. Get back into the fine art music. Once it cools down and I can think again, I really long for the, some sort of intellectual stimulation that summer seems to obfuscate. Boy, this has been a beautiful ride. Hey, thanks so much for being with me on the ride this morning, folks. I think that uh, we're probably gonna get around the corner. There's gonna be a lot of folks, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye to you and hope that you have a lovely day. If you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. Whatever your bike is, whatever your ride is, whatever the thing is you love to do, I hope you get a moment to do it today. Get a moment, take a moment. I got in about 20 minutes of riding today, which is really nice. Still kind of lazy in the mornings. All week last week I was lazy, didn't really write. Got some great stuff done on the Poco a Poco film project though. Stoked on that. Very grateful for that. For an otherwise surprisingly unproductive weekend. We were gonna be hanging gutters, but it rained, so couldn't finish painting. That's all right. We'll get it, hopefully, before the rain starts and it gets too cold. As long as it's above like 40, I don't mind working outside. Anyway, that's another topic, isn't it? Hey folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bike. Hope that you have a great week. I look forward to riding with you again on Thursday. And uh, this is the only ride we got. Hope that you get a chance 
to be on yours this week. Talk to you soon.